In the journey to improve our lives, we have evolved technology a lot over the years. Carts became carriages, carriages became cars. The tools and materials we use have also evolved. Think about how long it would take to build your house if a nail gun didn't exist, or how different transportation would be without steel. One material most of us don't think about often is glue. On the path to improve technology, glue has been along for the ride, helping us make things smaller and stronger. It is estimated that every year, about 40 pounds of glue is used for every person in America. Glue is used medically to close small wounds without using stitches, and engineered wood to make a beam that is stronger and more consistent. It's used in shoes, cell phones, and to make tape. The advantages of glue over mechanical fasteners are that it attaches all parts of one surface to another. It is easy to apply in manufacturing and is cheap. Some of the earliest uses of glue was in making bows. As a bow bends, the inside of the bow is under compression, the outside is stretched and is under tension. Using wood that has good compression strength on the inside and wood that has good tensile strength on the outside makes a bow that is more powerful and durable, allowing archers to shoot further with the smaller bow. This technique was used by some of the most famous archers in history, the Mongols. The Mongol bow used a thin layer of horn on the inside of the bow as it stores more energy and compression than wood does. Sinew from Wild Game was glued to the outside of the bow to prevent the bow from splintering and breaking while also giving it a bit more power. This style of composite bow was significantly more durable and powerful than a bow of equal size made from a single piece of wood. Combining it with their skill on horseback allowed the Mongols to conquer 16% of the world's land area. The Mongol bow did, however, have some weaknesses. Using animal glue meant that the bow could be ruined by moisture or excess humidity. It worked well enough for some things, but most modern uses of glue require a greater range of adhesive strength and other properties. Synthetic glue gives us that flexibility. With synthetic glue, you can make something that barely sticks, like a post-it note, or something that can glue your fingers closed if you don't use it carefully, like super glue. Cyanoacrylate, the glue used in super glue, was first discovered by a team of scientists headed by Harry Coover in 1942 while researching materials for clear gun sights. It was forgotten about for the next nine years until 1951 when it was rediscovered by Coover and his colleague Fred Joyner. This time, Coover realized the commercial use of cyanoacrylate as an adhesive. Coover later also recognized the use of cyanoacrylate for medical purposes. Today, it is used to close small cuts without stitches and to help keep stitched wounds together. It was even deployed on the battlefield in Vietnam as a temporary patch until proper medical care could be found. When using cyanoacrylate, be careful, as it has an exothermic reaction with certain materials such as cotton and wool. One drop won't set your jeans on fire, but it will probably leave a permanent mark. One of the more common uses of adhesives is in tape. Modern tape didn't exist until 1845, when Dr. Horace Day invented surgical tape. Before that, people would often bind things using fabric and glue. Even duct tape was initially a medical product, and back then it was known as duct tape. Duct tape as we know it today was developed during World War II for waterproofing ammunition boxes. It soon became a popular repair material among soldiers, since it was easy to use and could be torn by hand. After the war, it became popular for wrapping air ducts, which is why we know it now as duct tape. However, duct tape wasn't only used by construction workers, and has gained the reputation as the tape that can do it all. It's understandable why. Duct tape has been used in everything, from creating a makeshift CO2 scrubber on the Apollo 13 mission, to taping broken car windows, to making a duct tape boat. While most adhesives aren't as high profile as super glue or duct tape, they are a vital component in many modern technologies, and new adhesives are constantly being developed. What are some interesting uses for duct tape or super glue that you have seen? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you liked and didn't like about the video. Any feedback you can provide will only help me with creating higher quality content and content that you guys like. If you liked this video, leave it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. With that said, thanks for watching.